Hello coders, welcome to One Little Coder. In this tutorial, we are going to look at a classical way of identifying similar words using phonetic algorithms. Phonetic algorithms are those algorithms that will help you identify similar English. In this case, we are going to look at only English, but in general, any language words that sound similar. So the library that we are going to use to explore this is called Pyphonetics. Pyphonetics is, is a library that has been created by Elias Kotsakis. So this library helps us compare two different words and then find their similarity. Or on the other hand, if you just wanted to find the phonetic sound of one just word, you can still extract that. So we're going to look into this library and then we're going to see some examples of how we can use certain algorithms that are available in this in this library. So as you can see, this library has got Soundix, which is which is one of the most classical phonetic algorithm, Metaphone, which is kind of an improvement from Soundix. And then we have got some more functions or classes, Refined Soundix, Fuzzy Soundix, Lane and Matching Rate Approach. We're going to look at only Soundix, Metaphone, and in refined sound decks, we're going to look at how to use some distance metric, in this case, either Hamming or Levenstein to find the distance between two words. This is what we're going to do today. And if this is something that you're excited about, please let me know in the comment section. And without further ado, here is my Google Collab Notebook. My Google Collab Notebook, as you can see that I've already managed to install the required library Pi Phonetics. You can directly install it from uh, PyPy. And the next thing is, I'm going to say from Pyphonetics. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yes, let me close this as well. From Pyphonetics import, let's start with Soundex. Okay, so we are importing Soundex. Now, when you import Soundex, the next thing that you need to do is you need to in, in you need to create an object. I'm going to call it SD, maybe SND equals sound X. So now we have an object SND and I'm going to use that object to say SND is SND dot phonetics. Yes, of let's say a word. In this case, I'm going to use the word two. And you can see it says T000. That's the sound of it. Let's say now I want to find the sound of a different word. Let's say S and D phonetics of let's say two. This is this is a different two. And you can see these two have similar sounds. So now if you want to programmatically compare, like you can, you can of course, you know, use these two functions and then use an equality operator and then compare. But on the other hand, if you just want to programmatically compare two different words from the start, I can say S and D dot sounds like sounds like I can say two comma two sorry two comma two two and that should ideally say true is of course but on the other hand if I say a different word let's say break and break one is like breaking something the other one is the break it sounds true but on the other hand if I say tree and free now it says false because tree and free are not of the same sound and that is how soundex works so you have got to know how to use soundex from pyphonetics let's look at one more algorithm which is quite popular it's called metaphone so i'm going to say from pyphonetics pyphonetics import metaphone and after I do that, I'm going to initialize it. I'm going to say MP equals meta phone. I'm creating an object. And once the object is ready, I'm going to do a very similar exercise. What is that? I can say MP dot sounds like I can see if it sounds like let's say I can say Robert. And let's say I can say Joseph. I know it's, it's, it's a terrible comparison. It says false. Let's say new Delhi and then I can say new Delhi and then what does it say it says true even though there is a space you can see that new Delhi and Delhi matching together because 
they sound together they sound the same so this is extremely helpful if you're going to do fuzzy matching of address usually what we do in fuzzy matching is we try to find something that is similar in terms of you know distance metric like levenstein or hamming but what you can also do is you can try to find a similar sound and then you can you can try to match it for example uh, if i have something like um, let's say baker's street baker's street and i can say something like baker's baker's street you can see oh it says false yeah it says false because i think the sound differs let's let's see why it says false mp dot phonetics of the first one which is baker street and the second one let's see what is the difference when we don't add the c so so as as a non native english speaker i think i pronounce both of these same but looks like these two have totally different sounds so Oh, these are the places where you can use the string distance measurement but otherwise this is again metaphone or sound x is extremely helpful if you want to just simply do fuzzy matching based on the way they sound not just based on the kind of letters it has got but i mean like letters are the source of the sound but you you understand like you get the point right so you can use these algorithms whenever you are going to do nlp and you want to do fuzzy matching or you have got a sql database in your company and you want to find out single source of truth and you want to eliminate eliminate certain cases before even you move into ml again you can use these kind of algorithms and these algorithms can help you find out similar sounding words like if the two words are similar then you can use them and then join them so that um, your data source is more of a single source of truth than having a lot of duplicate wrong values so right now so far we have seen soundex and we have seen metaphone what about a new algorithm so i'm going to say from meta sorry some phonetics what, what is the other one that we saw we saw refined soundix from pi phonetics import refine i just i just forgot the name refined soundix let's say it's refined soundix imported and after you import it the same thing applies you say rs and d equals refined refined why am i typing something wrong refined sound x and after that you get into the business like you do the same thing but in this case you're going to calculate distance so i'm going to say rs dot sorry rs nd dot distance of what are the distance that i want to calculate usually let's say i want to say um I want to say python and then i want to say cython okay and then i'm going to say metric equals first metric equals hamming when you say metric equals hamming you can see the distance between these two is 2 so if i if i give python you can see what happens the distance is zero which means it's the same word but then you can see when you say cython it's it's close or on the other hand you can also change the algorithm to use levenstein levenstein hopefully i didn't mess up the name yes you can you can get the different value so this is again extremely helpful if you want to try to find similar words based on the distance like if you are going to do fuzzy matching and you want the fuzzy matching to be based on the letters not the sound then you can use levenstein or hamming distance and then you can try to find out the words that look similar so if i say break and break in this case these two wouldn't match a lot i mean in this in this particular case it's matching because it's just one character position different but but you get the point right so it's 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 not just purely based on the oh sorry words need to be of same length okay isn't it same length 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 that's that's quite weird um why i don't know why did we get like this because we have the same length i'm not sure i'm not sure about it but but the point is um you if you want to do fuzzy matching based on the words the characters itself you can use levenstein or hamming um usually i think people usually prefer levenstein i've seen a lot and if you want to match it based on sound then you can use soundex or metaphone i think metaphone is slightly advanced than soundex 
um, but but you can try out all these different methods and then have it ready for you to combine your data sources or do NLP or before you do NLP data cleaning um, for all these things you can use these algorithms these phonetic algorithms to do fuzzy matching finding similar words and a lot of other use cases that I have not I have not covered here so thanks to Pi Phonetics um, Elias for making this amazing library and making it open source if you enjoy this library make sure that you go and then give a shout out to the developer and also start the repository that's the least we can do but if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section if you want more content in nlp also let me know the topics that you would like to make you would like me to make so it it'll help me clear up my backlog thank you so much for listening to me watching me i will see you in the next video stay safe happy coding peace